Good afternoon, all. Happy Friday afternoons, all. It's just after 2 p.m. p.m., Rishi Sunak. Right. I'm just going to say this. One of my uh, main favorite sporting events is going on this weekend. It started last night. Yeah, the World Rally Championship WRC Rally Monte Carlo. And there's a Welshman winning at this moment. So just started the sixth, sixth, um, sixth stage. Estage E E S S N. I don't know. How do the French pronounce it? Six. Cease. Cease. Yeah. And Elvin Evans, well, he went for it last night. Last night, first two stages in the dark. He won them both by me, by kilometers. He was about 16, 17 seconds up on the rest in first place. But he's been very careful this morning in the ice. It's very icy. And uh, is it? Oh, it's going to be a dry Monty, dry Monty, bone dry Monty, and all that. Climate change, global warming, etc. Was it hell this morning? It was very, very icy. And uh, he's lost some of his leads, Elvin Evans, due to being very careful. It wasn't about preserving tyres. No, it was keeping the car on the road. A couple of them flew off. One of the top uh, the top boys, Ot Tanak, went off on the first stage of the morning. SSE3, Estage 3. And then quickly followed by uh, the Japanese one, um, uh, Tama, Tama Toshi. Ugh. Yeah. So it was very tricky this morning. Elwin got through all right. Auger and Thierry Noville and Sebastian Auger were flying. And they got down. They cut Elwin's lead down to a second or two. Oh, no, no, no hang on. No, 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 sorry. <laughs> After Friday morning... Elvin is still leading by 10 seconds, over 10 seconds, which is quite a hell of a lot in World Rally Championship terms. So he's still doing all right. Uh, there's a few stages for Friday afternoon. What I noticed is um, Sunday is a lot shorter this year. There's, there's only, I think there's only about three stages. It's all over by Sunday lunchtime, France time. About... Uh, a June the mid midi jour <laughs> midi jour midday on I watch in, I think in past in past whatever I don't know if it's gonna be the same for every event this year but normally an event used to end last year around about three o'clock in the afternoon, four o'clock, something like that. Well about two or three, something like that. There was always a couple of stages in the Sunday afternoon. Not, not, not this year, so far. I don't know what the plan is. Anyway, yeah, it seems like it's, the event seems to get shorter as each year passes. Yeah. Well, keep on going, Elvin. Bach. Little Elvin. Hello, Elvin. <laughs> oh, he's not that tall, is he? Not much taller. Anyway, my history of rallying. I used to do a lot of it. I joined the RAF. Before I joined the RAF, I used to do a lot of it. I was thinking of doing more, but uh, other things got involved, like gliding and girls. Uh, um, where was it? I, 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 I won one event way back in 1980. When was it? October. When was it? October 81, I think it was. And shortly after that, is, uh, or was it 80? Uh, 82, I don't know. In a minivan, believe it or not, on an icy, really icy 
day of this disused colliery, I beat Talbots, some beamers, Ford Escorts, etc. I had the right tyres and a pair of SB 44s on the front. I had a pair for the back. I thought, no, 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 I'll use the usual tyres so I can use the handbrake and slide and a bit of left foot braking round, round the corners. And you know, I beat them. I beat them. So all it had was a 998 engine. Giving out about 65 horsepower, something like that. Twin carbs, special head, rebuilt engine, and things like that. And anyway, oh, six minutes. Happy Friday evenings, all afternoons and evenings. Ta -da.